Hi, this is Frank Morris calling for Joel Sanderson. Um, Joel, I I would like to talk to you about this um, this uh, little radio uh, piece that I'm doing. Um, if you give me a call, I'd appreciate it. Bye bye. Uh, Joel, this is Roger. Uh, I I got the tape. The high tape doesn't look that great. It's real contrasty, and the whites are just kind of burning out. Um, but you're certainly welcome to look at it and make a decision for yourself. Um, the Randy Mason tape, I, I spoke with him, and he's going to send me a dub um, and also return the three-quarter-inch tapes that you sent him. Uh, that's it. Bye. Joel, uh, this is Roger. You don't have to uh, call back on this, but uh, Julie Nelson just called and says that uh, she thinks now that we could start working at 2 o'clock until midnight, straight on. I told her we probably wouldn't want to work that late, but uh, she said the only hitch would be if you needed technicians, which would cost $20 an hour. I said, we don't need any, at least not tomorrow night. So, um, see you tomorrow. Bye. This is Julie Nelson calling for Joel Sanderson. Joel, I wonder if you could send me those tapes that you talked about of the... Um, uh, the Campfire Diary, and you said also a documentary about that. Please let me know if there's a problem. Thank you. Bye-bye. Joel, uh, this is Roger. You don't have to uh, call back on this, but uh, Julie Nelson just called and says that uh, she thinks now that we could start working at 2 o'clock until midnight, straight on. I told her we probably wouldn't want to work that late, but... Uh, she said the only hitch would be if you needed technicians, which would cost $20 an hour. I said, we don't need any, at least not tomorrow night. So, um, see you tomorrow. Bye. This is Julie Nelson calling for Joel Sanderson. Joel, I wonder if you could send me those tapes that you talked about of the, um, uh, the Campfire Diary, and you said also a documentary about that. I'm at 319 Two seven three six one three four. Please let me know if there's a problem. Thank you. Bye bye. Yes, I'm calling for Joel Sanderson. This is Julie Nelson at the UNI Gallery of Art. We need to talk to you about the Roger Shimomura performance and the technical side of it. I need to set up an appointment with you and a technician up here. Um, and right now we're looking at. Thursday after, Thursday morning, April the 15th, between 10.30 and 11.30 sometime, would you be able to have us, would you be somewhere where we could call you? But please let me know as soon as possible, and we have an answering machine if I'm not there. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Joel, this is Roger. Um, here's the bad news. The Thunderbird Theater is in Haskell, till Saturday night. They screwed up. So we cannot start until Sunday morning. Um, so I need to set a rehearsal like for 3 o'clock that day, hopefully. Um, hopefully you can pull it off in that period of time. Um, the good news, there is none. Um, I've only got two lens so far. I need to find out whether I should make a big deal about getting the other two, which are back ordered, or whether to cancel the other two. Um, so I don't know whether you progressed with Lois Green or not. Uh, the slides came out beautifully. The uh, rest of the uh, corporate slides plus the new uh, Issei Nisei Sansei slides uh, of the three objects, juggler objects, came out great. So I need to get those inserted. Um, anyway, give me a call. I have to, I have a thing tonight. I've got to go to a, the chair search thing out at Eudora. It'll probably be pretty late. So get a hold of me tomorrow. I'm going to be here because I got to wait for my paintings to be delivered. And also, I need you to help me pick up the uh, frames up at school tomorrow. So uh, give me give me a holler in the morning. Thanks. Bye. Joel, this is Roger. Um, Rehearsal Wednesday, this coming Wednesday at 7.30 at my house, October 14th. That's the only time it seems that Tony could do it. Okay, Wednesday, 7.30. Call if that's a problem. 
Otherwise, I'll assume it's okay. Bye-bye. Joel, this is Roger. Um, can you make that rehearsal on Wednesday at 7 instead of 7.30? And if you can't, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start at 7 with Tony um, and come when you can. But uh, we're going to start at 7. You don't have to call back. Um, I'll assume you got this message. Bye. Joel, it's Roger. Um, can we meet on Wednesday the 11th at 11 at my house? If I don't hear from you, I'll assume that's okay. 11 on the 11th at my house. Bye-bye. Joel, it's me. It's Roger. Um, I need an updated um, one-paragraph um, bio for the program, unless you want to go with the old one. That's it. Bye. Uh, Joel, this is Roger. Uh, the number to call about the plane ticket is 8430964. And let's see, I'm trying to find out who it was that I spoke with. But it was, I think it's Kathy. No, Ellen. Yeah, we're going on TWA on the 22nd through St. Louis. Arrives. 418 at National Airport and scheduled to return on the 25th at 1255 through St. Louis getting back here at uh, 418 and uh, the ticket's 197 bucks which is paid for I haven't gotten the tickets yet so I'm um, anyway you can deal with her um, <clears throat> a couple of other things I need to talk to you about uh, so give me a call at some point. Bye. Saturday, 10.01 a.m. Uh, Joel Roger, um, today, Monday afternoon, um, would be a good time to stop by, drop your bio off, and pick up some things here. Um, bye. Hi, my name is Craig Bushman. I'm calling for Joel Sanderson from the Space for Dance in Boulder, Colorado, um, in regards to the Roger Shimamiro show. I hope that's the right name. I don't have it written down in front of me. Um, <coughs> I will be the technical manager here at the Space for Dance for your show, um, and I've got a, a piece of paper with a lot of notes from Bob Shannon on it in regards to your needs here, but I just wanted to go over it and make sure that um, and my hours vary, so leave a message. Let me know when is a good time for me to get a hold of you or, or something. Um, thanks very much. Take care. Bye. Tuesday, 2.34 p.m. Hi, I'm calling for Joel. This is Ron from CCA in Santa Fe. I just wanted to make sure that you got the diagram I sent you and to see if there was any more information you needed. If I don't hear from you, I'll assume that um, you got all the info you needed. I will be out of town um, Thursday afternoon this week through Wednesday next week. So um, you can call me either before then or after that point if you need to. Bye. Uh, Joel, this is Roger. Um, you need to call a guy named Bud Shannon um, in Boulder about the technical requirements for the Colorado Dance Festival performance. Um, he says he'd like to speak to you today. If not, uh, call him this weekend. Um, his last name is Shannon. I think his first name is Bud. It was real hard to understand. Kind of sounded like he was saying buff, actually. So uh, give him a buzz. Thanks. Monday, 4 o'clock p.m. Joel's Roger. Um, I have a bunch of tapes here, I guess from you. Oh no, that's for you. Okay. Um, but I need my uh, excerpt tape back for that Hall's uh, panel that I'm on, the one that has no sound. I think what I'm going to do is just bring my VCR up there and play it back on that. That would solve everything. So also I caught, talked to the Colorado Dance Fest about 15 times and, and uh, they said <laughs> they said that, well, Joel said it'll work, so it's got to work. So I said, well, if Joel says it'll work, um, then I guess it'll work, uh, tearing everything down, that is. 
Um, actually, I made the guy promise that he would assume full responsibility for it. He said he would. So, um, I need that tape back. Thanks. Joel Sanderson, this is Craig Bushman calling from Boulder, Colorado. Um, I just received a, <coughs> a fax that Roger sent to Colorado Dance Festival um, <coughs> stating that it's impossible to move the set. Um, I just want to make sure that we were clear on that. I didn't know if you would talk to him and if you were the one that told him that, but I thought you and I were, were clear that it could be done. I'm, I'm confident that it can be done um, pretty quickly and easily. Um, I am leaving for Chicago tomorrow, Tuesday, March 7th, and I will be gone until Sunday the 12th. Um, if you need anything, I, I, I'd like to talk about this, and I'd be happy to call Roger and, and reassure him that I deal with this for every single show. Granted, there are more set pieces for this one than there are the other, but I don't think it would take six to eight hours to set it all up every single time, like he says it would. So um, I will be home today after 4 o'clock Mountain Time. Um, so let's try and hammer this all out before I go away so I don't have to worry about it. Um, you can try to call me at the Space for Dance or Colorado Dance Festival today. Um, I don't have CDF's number. Um, but try there because they'll know. It, there'll be someone answering the phone down there and they can come get me. Um, so there you go. Thanks. Bye. Hi, I'm calling for Joel. This is Ron from CCA. Um, I'm calling to double check and make sure it looks from everything we've talked about that you do not need a sound person, a separate sound person, that you will be handling such things. Um, but before I told our sound person that she didn't need to be here for those dates, um, I wanted to make sure. And if I'm not here, you can just leave a message. Bye. Hi, this is a message for Joel Sanderson. This is Eleanor from the Walker Art Center in Minneapolis. Just calling to um, check in with you. I've got all of your tech information here and um, we've got you covered uh, one question I did have is from the drawing are you bringing all of the, the flats that are indicated on the little drawing thanks Bye. Sunday 8.34 p.m. hi this is a message for Joel this is Eleanor from the Walker Art Center calling um, in terms of loading in on Tuesday evening when you arrive, we aren't going to be able to do that. There's a performance in the auditorium uh, that evening. So we'll have to wait and load you in on Wednesday morning. Uh, sorry about that. I forgot that the event was moved. Um, uh, give me a call if you have any problems with this. Thanks. Bye. Hi, Joel. It's Marsha Paladin calling from Greensboro, about ready to take off for Kansas City tomorrow morning. Um, I just found out that Laura's car needs to go into the shop and is not going to be available for us to drive out to Minneapolis and was wondering if you are driving and if you are driving when you're leaving. And if so, would there be room enough for us to hitch a ride? Um, I know Roger said it's going to be pretty cramped and whatever he's going up in, um, maybe you're going with him. Um, if you get home tonight, I'll be, I can easily wake up for your massage. So uh, just just to alert that we're going to need to get some passenger activity going on up there. And I'm going to call around to some other possibilities, too. I think I'll call Tony. Maybe he's going with you all, too. But at any rate, um, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hi. It's me. Home from the show. It went really well. Pulled it off without any problems. Everything's fine. Uh, just kind of miss you. Giving you a call. I don't know. But really in a good mood. Uh, the walker took us out for a really nice dinner. And everything went really well. I went out with John today and went shopping and went to some really fun places. So we'll see when I get home. I don't know what time we'll be in. So, but seven or eight. So I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye. Hi, Joel. This is Roger. I'm up in Seattle. Um, just wanting to know whether you would be interested in uh, doing Campfire Diary at the uh, Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. Um, in February. Problem is the stage is only has got a 24-foot proscenium. Other than that, it's a good stage. Um, 
plenty of curtains and all this kind of stuff. Seats 271 to 300. I've got a floor plan of the auditorium and was wondering whether you had a fax number that I could send this to. Um, otherwise, I'll be back October or August 12th. I think they're kind of looking for an answer on this one way or the other. Um, my number here is 206-725-2606. If you don't get me, you can leave a message on my mom's machine and uh, with a fax number or whatever kind of message you want to leave. Thanks. Hope everything's going right or better for you. Bye-bye.